Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here and I'm doing a full moon reading for this weekend for water signs. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, it's just a general reading, so we'll just see if we can pick up some messages for the full moon. So water signs, water signs, what do we need to know? What are the messages we need to know? Water signs, water signs. Hmm. Three Swords Reverse coming out of a bit of heartbreak. It's better reversed. Third party situations. What an ass. I hate third party situations. Oh, there we go. Seven of Wands. Battling someone. Battling. Battling. Is the battle over? What are we trying to do? Yeah, it's tough when you're doing it on your own. You know, um, could be a single parent battling stuff on their own. Hopefully we get some good cards around this. Oh, oh, water signs. Two of cups, soulmate. Battling on your own and now you don't have to maybe? That would be so neat. Recovering from a third party situation and meeting a new lover, lover. Queen of cups reverse. So um, air signs got that in their reading. Different deck. And it was reversed as well. Not a great energy, emotionally not that stable. Um, you know, it could be, I don't know why I just got this in my head. If you're getting a bit older, you could be getting a bit hormonal. It could be menopause, you know, because there's lots of different ages that watch videos. So someone could be just feeling a bit emotional. Maybe just meeting someone is, meeting someone new, you feel quite emotional about it. You don't really know how to react because maybe you've been on your own for such a long time and, and you're a bit scared like it's overwhelming you panic attacks you know like you can't believe that this person's into you seven of cups options so you've got a lot of your own energy here um seven of cups Seven of Wands, that could be significant. I'll just have a quick look in the Doreen Virtues. Um, what does seven mean? Two sevens. You're on the right path and the outcome will exceed your expectations. The number seven is a sign that divine magic is supporting you and opening doors of opportunity. Guys, look at that. Wow, seven and seven and they're both upright. New opportunities, divinely guided. Don't stress. Meditate. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. It's what I get. Breathe. Okay. Breathe. Lava. Five of Swords reversed. You know, the Five of Swords, this came up as well, but different deck for, I think, Fire Signs. Um, that's the card for me. It's like trying to win at all costs. You know, um, don't really care who they hurt in the process. They could hurt their own family. Doesn't matter. You know, it's reversed. So you might have been hurt by someone close to you. But you're coming out of that with the Three of Swords reversed. You're coming out of that hurt. You're coming out of that. You have options now. Win at all costs. I don't like that. Like, let's win at all costs. I want to win, win, win. You know, the most important thing in your life, no matter who you are, where you are, what skin color you you have what um, religious background you have. The only thing that matters, the most important thing that matters in our life is our health, our physical and our mental health. We don't need um, designer this, designer that. We don't need the flashiest house. You know, at the end of the day, if we don't have good health, we don't have anything else because we can't enjoy it. So, you know, this to me is like someone trying to um, hurt someone at all costs and that's horrible it's a horrible feeling and it's reversed so I'm glad it is reversed so you're coming out of that but you know it's affected maybe you know because that came to me maybe this has affected your health this person trying to win at all costs it's affected your health <sighs> maybe this person that you were with was um, a serial cheater you know, and they had lots of options, and they thought every option was, like, full of this, but some were full of snakes, and, you know, 
and they've made their bed they need to lie in it look at that dark that shadow of a person wanting everything because one's not good enough they want everything I want it all and I want it now that's sort of what the message I get it's been tough wow crazy king of cups reversed so air sign you might be dealing with an air sign here because they had the king and queen of cups but it was different deck totally different deck but it was like this so maybe there's a link, maybe there's this, and I was saying that there's instability, or someone that maybe you had conflict with in the past, or someone from the past um, needs your help, maybe they were a lover and they need your help, wow, it's linked somehow to air signs reading, Knight of Cups, uh, Knight of Cups, so there is an offer of love coming in, and I think it's genuine. But I think, you know, there's someone from the past that might not like the fact that you're moving on and, and a new offer comes in and they could rear, you know, come back in. Jealousy, you know, they could hear about it. Um, just be mindful what you post online, guys, because, you know, you could get excited about what you're doing and want to share it. But, you know, people like this who are emotionally unstable, you know, uh, they can watch, let's just say that. Two of Pentacles. Same. Same card as well for air signs. But in this position. Justice reversed. This is what I'm talking about. This is someone that you had a relationship with wanting to come back. I think your readings are linked. In something that happened that was unjust. You know, a, a family torn apart by someone's um, greed. Wanting to come back in. Lost without you. Someone fucked up. And they want to come back in and spoil this. Don't let them spoil that. Don't let them spoil what you've got. I, I just feel, I mean, look at that. That's what they brought. They just brought just the sun reversed. Oh, this card came up as well. Crazy. So, you know, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. That's about family. Let's run with this, actually. <laughs> you know, water signs. Unjust. No balance trying to balance too many things what happened wasn't fair it was within the home you know the foundation that you should feel your safest it caused chaos and just it caused trauma for not just you but for children in the family it affected your um your legacy it affected your financial um stability it created it created a burden, chaos, and drama. Three of Cups reversed. Um, let's party our night away. Let's let's involve a third party. Uh, let's gossip. Let's have three other women come in and gossip and lie and bitch because they're jealous. Oh, another three. You know, third party situations. There we go, water signs. So, new love's coming in, water signs. But an ex or someone from the past doesn't like it and is jealous. Someone that thought that they were allowed to do this and have this and have options, but you can't? No, jealousy is a disease. New love is coming in. It's a stable, nice offer. Um, I would say to you that it's safe for you to love. And you should um, be mindful of this person coming back in for the wrong reasons. But I would watch Air Signs reading because it matches, you know. So I'm going to do a uh, Moonology for the full moon. So, um, water Signs, Water Signs, what is your card that you need to have to see? The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So the energy, I think, of this person coming in is gaining momentum. So stand strong. You know, new lovers entering your life. Um, yeah, just 
it's all divine timing it's all divine timing guys so I'll just do a love oracle too so cancer Scorpio Pisces so cancer what does cancer need to know for love cancer religious factors your love life is influenced by your religion upbringing spiritual path so you know you might have feelings for someone who's from a different nationality or race or religion than you and it might it won't affect you because you clearly like the person but it might affect the people around you or their family you know not everyone's I don't know what's the word for it not everyone's um moved into 2020 um understanding what love is you know and love is what you feel in here love is here it's not on the outside so um, religious factors could be um, playing a part in your romantic life so uh, Scorpio Scorpio Oops. This one again. free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so if you were in this situation take back control man put see look at this Hold on. so there's that's boundaries, okay, for me. I'm just looking at this now. I just have this message. You need to put boundaries up because this person, boundaries, they want to get come back in, but for all the wrong reasons. Like, I don't want you, but I don't want anyone else to have you. That's the message I get. Boundaries, guys. Scorpio, boundaries. That's what you need to put up. And no means no. Pisces. Pisces. Well, this card's flipped out. Unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry, attractional chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be not related, but it could be that you just don't have any chemistry or love for this person anymore. So that you need to, again, like um, Scorpio, put up some boundaries to let them know that you, you know, no, no means no. And, you know, what happened in the past, it happened. I've moved on. Move on. Move on. Okay totally different life now I can relate to this I'm not I don't have water in my chart but you know when something's dead don't try and revive it it's dead it's gone it's gone for a reason move on so water signs um that was intense it got me feeling intense because I just don't like it when people try and fuck up um other people's happiness you know they they, they want to hurt you when they're with you and then when you move on they want to hurt you when they're not with you. And it's like, really? Are you that fucking gross that you want to come in and hurt? You know, like hurting me when we were together wasn't enough. You want to do it when we're not together? That's the shit that I don't like. So guys, sorry about that. Sometimes I swear. But um, yeah, put boundaries up because this person wants to come back in and just do the same shit different day.